Welcome to Acunet CRM Tips and Tricks video blog. Today's topic is CRM 4.0 and the Outlook interface. AMR research found that 47% of companies using a CRM system report serious challenges with end user adoption that puts the project in jeopardy. Microsoft understands this pitfall and so created CRM with an Outlook interface where most of us spend our time throughout the day anyways. So let's take you to the Acunet CRM in Outlook. Okay, Here's Acunet CRM in Outlook. The Outlook CRM integration uh, has many different points. One of those integration points is up here at the top. You have now a new CRM menu bar running across the top where you can create new activities, uh, new records, you can track emails and contacts back into CRM, and you can do advanced finds on uh, unique search criteria. Another integration point is the CRM menu bar up here. This CRM menu item allows you to do the same things as the bar below, like create new activities and records, as well as do manual syncs with CRM, uh, import data, duplicate detection, and modify your CRM Outlook integration settings. The third integration point is on your left side in your folder structure. Here you have your typical inbox folder structure, but now below you've got this new structure called Microsoft Dynamics CRM. CRM is made up of three main modules, the marketing module, the sales module, and the service module. Under here, you also see those same modules. You can break them open and see the different types of records that you have under each one. Say I select accounts here. When I do that, then my list of accounts shows up over here in the view pane. And I could open these up. I could change my view. Or here, I could search for specific types of records. Now, the great thing about having CRM integrated with Outlook is that throughout the day as I'm working in CRM, I can see emails as they come through. I can look over here and see that I have 45 unread emails. Let's go back to the inbox and look at how emails sent to me and emails sent out from me can be tracked back into CRM. As you see, this email with Alan Brewer has a special icon. This icon denotes that it has been tracked back into CRM. That means this email exists both here in Outlook and in CRM. This is a great tool if you want to ensure email communications between certain clients or about a key project are recorded. Let me show you how to track something back into CRM. Let's open up this other Alan Brewer email right here called Next Stage. All I do is go up here, hit Track in CRM. Now this email is tracked in CRM. I can hit view in CRM or if this is regarding a certain type of a project, I can hit set regarding. Let's view this email in CRM right now. So I hit view in CRM and the CRM email will open. Here is that same email now in CRM. If I'd like to see more information, say, about Alan Brewer, I can click here on his name and open up his actual contact record in CRM. Here's Alan's record. Now to see that email, if you just want to double check that it was in fact tracked back here, let's go to Alan's history. In history, we can look at all, and there is the next stage email. The great thing about tracking something back to CRM is I can go back to the original email message and delete it. Even though I just deleted it, it's still here in CRM. Now let's say that I want to create an appointment to go see Alan. So let me select New Activity here, and I'll create an appointment. I'll call this Visit Alan About CRM. Let's say that I'm going to set this for 2 p.m. later today. Save and close it. And now this will be tracked back down into my Outlook and block off that time in my Outlook calendar. Let's also create another new activity 
and we'll create a task. And I'll show how the task can be synced back down into Outlook. So create a task, hit OK. I'm going to create a PowerPoint for Allen appointment. I'll save and close this. And we'll save and close Alan's contact information. Because I just created those two uh, activities less than a minute ago, I'm going to need to tell CRM to sync manually. Otherwise, it syncs every 15 minutes. So here it is syncing with Outlook. And I have my appointment right here, visit Alan about CRM, as well as create PowerPoint for the Alan appointment. If I'm sending an email from CRM, I can go up here and create a new email. And I can pull upon my contacts and account information. Here it's pulling my CRM accounts and my emails. So let's send something to the Baldwin Museum of Science, too. I'm going to say test email, and I'm going to track that in CRM. Now this email is going to the Baldwin Museum of Science. It pulled that information from CRM and is tracking this email back into CRM. Another great feature in CRM 4.0 is tracking Outlook contacts into CRM. Let's go to our Outlook contacts down here. You see a list of your Outlook contacts here, and you notice a lot of them have these same icons that denotes an email is being tracked back. Well, this same icon also shows that this contact is either being tracked back into CRM or it's being tracked from CRM down into your Outlook. It can flow both ways. So let's look for a record that's not in CRM. Virginia Jean is not in CRM. Let's open Virginia and let's just hit this button, Track in CRM. Now I want to track Virginia back to an account. So I'm going to open up accounts. She works for the School of Fine Art. Find that account here. I select OK. Now Virginia Jean is tracked back into CRM as a, a contact record and associated with the School of Fine Art account. Now there are many other things that you can do with the Outlook interface, but the great thing about it is that it gives people a familiar surroundings to work with. It also allows people to sync their Outlook contacts to their smartphones, perform mail merges with your CRM contacts into Microsoft Word, create faxes, and use email templates. If you have questions, you can email me at jlupiba at accu.com, and remember to visit my blog at crmtipsandtricks.com dot wordpress dot com